Christian Small Momentum Golf here today to give you some understanding of how to release the club without hooking. This is a tour video, tour play video, or plus handicap scratch golfer video only. So if you struggle with hook, which generally every good player at some stage in life has struggled with hook, I'm gonna teach you today how to release the club without any fear of hook. So if we track back a little bit, when we're kids and we're little, we don't have a lot of strength or height. So as a kid, you learn to create a leverage system. And a leverage system that you create as a kid when you learn, it's the reason why adults don't improve as quickly when they're learning as kids, in my opinion, is because as a kid, you learn a leverage system with the hands, arms, and wrists. But as you do that, and you get better and you get stronger, all of a sudden then that club face starts crossing over to your spine and you start hooking. So what that looks like is, here's the front of the club, here's our spine. As a kid, you learn how to release the club and that gets you playing better. And then eventually as you get stronger, the club face starts getting close to your spine angle and you start hooking. So convention would suggest that to fix that, you need to rotate your body to try and keep the body and the hands in front of the face to stop the face rotating. But that motion, in my opinion, is not as efficient from a speed or a club face control perspective as a releasing club. So for me, the world of golf is stuck between this concept of you need to release the club to create your maximum efficiency, but then you don't want to have the face closing over from your spine angle. You never want to see that. So the commonality in teaching is that you rotate your body to delay the closing. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to release the club without any fear of hook. And it's something that I've developed, it's unique to me. And we've got a training device here that has the yellow line on the front to reflect the front edge, and the, claw, the yellow spot on, on the top to reflect the front edge, that line. We're gonna to learn today how when we swing, if we think about when kids learn, they all learn to use their hands, and they hit the ball better and play better, and they use the leverage of the lead leg, because they're trying to hit it far, they don't have any strength. And eventually as they get stronger, they start to hook it. So then they're taught, to rotate to hold it. You can see as you rotate to hold it, you are to a large degree delaying the club head releasing. You're delaying the speed that's in the club head releasing. And when you do that, you're making your body have to work a lot faster in order to create your speed. Now when you do that from down the line, you'll see that if you make a backswing and rotate your body faster to create speed, there's a proneness for the club to come out, which then if you practice and keep the club in, you'll get the club in, but then this right hip will get in the way. Now, there's a lot of guys out there who are saying, be more mobile in your body, move more capable in your body. Yes, no question, that will help you. But fundamentally, if you're moving in an inefficient way, you're then gonna be super uh, mobile in your body to balance that out. And not everybody's like that. So what you're gonna learn today is how to keep the relationship between the front edge of the club, which reflects in this yellow top, and your spine angle constant. So if we go back and we take the club away, we wanna keep the face more down. That face more down is keeping the front of the club. Now on the way down, this is the magic. We're gonna left arm drag the club down. We left arm drag the club down, we remain, we remain square. What you're gonna do is you're gonna left leg extend and feel as the left arm drags, the left wrist gives way and goes into extension and scoops. Now when you drag and extend, you achieve an impact position reflective of where you want to see, hands forward. But as you let the club scoop, what you're doing is you're keeping the front edge of the club, the spine angle aligned. So even well past impact, that's what Adam Scott does. Well past impact, that front edge is parallel to the spine angle, which means then as the chest pivots, that relationship stays constant, which means well past impact, you've released the club, but the club's never turned over to your spine angle. You've maintained, as you've dragged and extended this lead leg, you've maintained that relationship with the front edge of the club and your spine angle. Now, as you release the club through dragging and extension of this lead leg, you get a sense the ball can never hook. Flowy and fluid and release. Your chest can rotate, you can create maximum speed. You can release the club without ever fearing hook. Ironically, the more active you release it, the more prone you are if you miss to just pushing slightly to the right. So in summary, every good player at some stage is hooked where the front edge is crossing over to the spine. Common coaching is talking about pushing and rotating to try and delay that. That's causing most golfers to come over the top and better players that I'm talking to here to get stuck from the inside. If you work this way, left arm drags the club down into left leg extension and you let that left wrist 
go into extension, straight away you can see the relationship there with the frontage and me. And then my chest can just pivot and I can get a, a feeling of freedom and flow into the finished position which maintains balance. If this resonates with you, if you've struggled with hook, if you've tried to fix hook by holding the face or rotating the body or pushing more into the ground and getting stuck, this video is for you. If you'd like to have more information, drop a comment in the comments below or message me directly. I look forward to helping you. This is a very, very critical move that's not taught or I haven't found anyone teaching anywhere around the world how to link that movement together. So please, if you have struggled at any level of golf from scratch golf to the tour player level, please contact me because I know I can help you. I teach remotely as well as face to face. I'm keen to help as many people who have the same problem as possible because it is a bit of a pandemic, that concept of releasing and hooking and then trying to rotate to hold the face. This is the solution. Drop a message either directly or in the comments below. I look forward to helping you soon.